classic Tomb Raider fans have already known that Tomb Raider and Lara Croft have been dead and buried for a very long time and there doesn't seem to be much hope that we will see that Lara Croft return because the current developers of the franchise have already made things quite clear that not only do they dislike and have a huge disdain for classic Lara Croft and the old school Tomb Raider games, but they don't think that they suit modern audiences because, well, they think that classic Lara Croft is a sexist trope and they're catering to the modern non-gamer who have hijacked the gaming space in general and instead of wanting compelling and challenging gameplay and to see the cutscenes that they had to earn through said challenging gameplay, these current non-gamers just want to breeze through an easy, hand-holdy, watered-down, babied-down experience that, quite frankly, isn't so much of a video game anymore because they just want to watch pretty cutscenes. That's it. So this is who they're catering to. As a result, we have seen Tomb Raider be relegated to an inferior Uncharted, if you will. Uh, it went from this very notoriously challenging game that had a huge focus on difficult traversal, on uh, exploration, on puzzles, on using your brain, and in many cases, people who actually beat the Tomb Raider games as the classic ones, especially without using strategy guides, were hailed as, wow, you're a really good gamer for being able to accomplish that. That is not even remotely a thing from a legend onward, and as much as I love the aesthetic and general overall visual appeal of the Legend Trilogy, it did completely gut and remove all of the challenge, all of the great things regarding gameplay, especially with Tomb Raider. And then from the reboot onward, we saw not only have they uprooted the core of what makes Tomb Raider Tomb Raider gameplay wise, but also the character Lara Croft and completely changing her beyond recognition. And I've made a ton of videos about this, but today I'm going to talk about this new game that has entered the arena because it is doing what us classic fans have been wanting to see Tomb Raider do again, finally, seemingly. Now, I haven't seen all of it yet. We're about to dive into it and have a look, but just based off of the little bits that I have seen, we're seeing dinosaurs, okay? We're seeing these fantastical elements, and we're seeing a woman who uh, is taking on these larger-than-life opponents, in this case being a T-Rex, and... That's what a lot of us want to see. A lot of us who are classic Tomb Raider fans, we don't want to see this grounded, realistic, crybaby Lara Croft who is just fighting people or undead armies instead of what made Tomb Raider so great with the fantastical enemies, the larger than life, all that. So let's see what this does. Let's see if it... Now, obviously, this is going to look very indie, but let's see if this can satisfy that craving for classic Tomb Raider fans of a true Tomb Raider-like experience. So I'm going to first watch this trailer react to it, and then we're going to look at some more stuff that I've pulled up on Twitter. So let's go ahead and have a look here. Okay, so, okay. So just off the bat, the first thing I want to point out Love the red hair because some people don't realize like classic Lara Croft. She had like auburny reddish brown hair. Um, so I do like that. Now I like the backpack. I'm only seeing one pistol here. I can't tell if there's another one there. The outfit is very current Lara Croft, which I'm not the hugest fan of. I'd rather see like, okay, give us that hiker hiker gear, like the shorts and uh, the tank top, all that. But hey, still, yeah, we can, we can forgive that. Let's see. A machete. Okay, it is just one pistol. Don't like that already. Okay, a rafter. <laughs> Clearly, like I said, it's very indie looking. It's not you know, where this isn't going to be AAA studio quality, but if you're more focused on gameplay, um, then that's fine. I like this, though. Dinosaurs everywhere! I love it! Oh! 
Oh, 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 that's scary. Oh. Okay, so I don't like the over the shoulder, all that. I'd rather, man, I really wish they took this opportunity to focus more on actual classic Tomb Raider gameplay. Because what this is looking like to me is it's looking like modern Tomb Raider, but with dinosaurs. Okay, now while that is a huge improvement over what we're getting in current Tomb Raider, um, even with, you know, this being more indie and not going to be as polished or graphically as uh, impressive... It still is an improvement to me because that's what I want with Tomb Raider. I want an adventure where I'm like fighting dinosaurs and crap. Like that's, that's just what I want. So the setting, all that, that's good. Like the red hair on the character. <laughs> but. Oh, <laughs> I do. I'm a big fan of like dinosaurs and monster stuff in general too, because I love Godzilla, all that. So that's good. But yeah, I mean, like I said, clearly, this is very indie. This is um, definitely something that classic Tomb Raider fans, uh, there's some appeal there when it comes to this setting. But uh, like I said, though, earlier, this is definitely some more modern Tomb Raider influence with the combat, the, the gameplay itself, especially. That said, though, it could be better in some ways if there's no like hand holdiness to it because that is one of my biggest critiques with modern tomb raider i get so sick of lara croft telling you what to do at a, at a puzzle you know if you're thinking for anything more than two seconds she tells you how to do it the puzzles are already stupid easy anyway um but that's also something else i want to see more of now this trailer was okay so this was from uh a, a month ago a little over a month ago going on two months ago so who knows, like, what this more is going to look like. Um, also, I'm curious to see the price point and stuff like that. Because this isn't going to get, I don't expect, like, that AAA polish and all that kind of stuff. But let's just see what they say here. They said, in Primal Omen, you must investigate a remote tropical island and discover why it is overrun with dinosaurs. They are fierce, intelligent, and extremely dangerous. Your resources will be limited. Tread carefully. Listen and feel your surroundings. You will need every edge you can in order to survive. So it's a modern survival horror experience. Third-person atmospheric resource uh, scarce horror awaits. So this is like, you know, think Resident Evil meets modern Tomb Raider, which I think is great. This could be very fun experience. It's not going to scratch that classic Tomb Raider itch, but it's going to, uh, I feel like this will appeal to a lot of classic Tomb Raider fans because also a lot of classic Tomb Raider fans are Resident Evil fans. Um, so I find that interesting. I am curious to know if there are puzzle elements as well. I do like that it is survival horror because what a lot of people don't realize about Tomb Raider, if you haven't played the classic games, is that they are they are horror in a lot of ways. Like, while not completely in that genre, dude, the classic games were scary. Especially if you look at, like, Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 4, there were a lot of scary elements in those games. Um, so that's definitely there. Now, minimal diegetic I don't know what that means HUD okay but basically what it sounds like is there's not there's not a lot of um things on the screen which is good I like this because it makes it more immersive want to check your remaining ammo stop and check your weapon your health how does your character look I like these elements because when you got a bunch of stuff going on on your screen it can take away from some of the immersiveness especially when you're talking about survival horror because the key with survival horror is you want to be scared and you want to feel like okay it's you against the world right it's you against whatever it is you're you're against um so that does help with that all right, so it says mature content description. The developers describe the content like this. Contains scenes of violence and graphic violence involving humans and fictional, based on what we currently know, dinosaurs. Also contains themes of war and mature language. All right, so this is what it looks like we're going with. This is going to be, you know, very bare bones indie style uh it's kind of basically a dino crisis in a way, but um I guess I just get a lot of like Lara Croft vibes from the main character. So this isn't exactly going to be that classic Tomb Raider experience that we've been craving in the in the fact that there aren't like acrobatic 
uh, combat. Uh, it's not so much of an exploration puzzle solving uh, traversal based gameplay. It seems to be just that very survival horror Resident Evil type experience with a Tomb Raider skin on it or like I said Dino Crisis in a way. So this is definitely has some appeal to some more retro gamers uh, which to me it's crazy to think of PS1 era as retro but this is where we're at. So that kind of retro um, that era uh with this 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 style of game so that's cool i do like that and 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 it is in a very you know indie style package so again expectations i imagine the price point will reflect that as well so expectations shouldn't be if you want like this super glamorous super polished like 100 million dollar aesthetic game that's obviously not going to be the case but you know especially if you're a retro gamer like myself uh, who really loves like that PS1, PS2 era type of game. Uh, we're not looking for all the bells and whistles. What we care most about is gameplay itself. So there's definitely an appeal here. Now, they also here, it looks like he announced Primal Omen is coming to PAX East 2023. Come and play our demo. Now, if I was going, which I won't be uh, this year, he follows me. What? Dude, now I'm curious even more. I'm going to follow him back because I want to keep up with this more. Um, But if I was going, I 1000% would be wanting to play this. So let me go ahead and see this because this might be like a new clip. Okay. I like it. This is like Jurassic Park feels. Oh, and the T-Rex. I want to get a good look at the character, too. She looks great. She's like that Regina... Regina Lara Croft hybrid. Which I'm a fan of. I like it. I mean... Hold on. Oh, it's, it's, it's hard to get a, a good still of what the character looks like. I want I want renders. Like, I want to be a fan. I want to just stay in this character like I do Lara Croft. That's what I like from these type of games. Like, I think that's one reason why I like Resident Evil so much, too. It's it's honestly mostly... I, I really like to latch on to the characters. Obviously, gameplay is key, but I need to latch on to the characters as well in most of these type of experiences when you're playing a game like this. Um... That just helps because I like to vicariously live through the character who is so much above my capabilities and skills and <laughs> kind of, I like to look at a character and aspire to like, okay, this is my gym training motivation. This is like, you know, me getting to live through this character who is a lot more larger than me. Um, so here is this post where I saw, I'm, or I, obviously they did find their voice actress, but I still wanted to share this because uh, what I liked for what in this description is they were looking for a British accent. So that's definitely going to give that Lara Croft feel, which I'm about. And it looks like Kate Speak here. She, man, if her last name is actually Speak, that is the perfect last name for a voice actress. <laughs> um, so, oh, look, she's a Tomb Raider fan. So she is the actress for Eliza is the character name. I like it in Primal Omen. Okay. I love that. That is cool. All right. Let's see kind of. Package what? pregnancy. She has 11 weeks. You said nine when you spoke to Peter about it before. Okay. Her voice is perfect. I'm already a fan. Sign me up. Because she's got like that feminine voice but she's very like confident sounding and tough sounding that's the type of voice that i would expect and want to see from a lara croft-esque character so this isn't while she the outfit is very kind of modern lara croft looking which that's still i don't know that 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 is one of my critiques is i would update the outfit a little bit kind of make it a little more distinct from reboot lara especially with like it's the it's the same color palette and if you're really trying to Kind of, well, I can't tell. It almost looks red there, but I think it's the lighting. Um, 
but still, yeah, I would I would personally like to see some adjustments in the outfit so that it doesn't look so much like Reboot Lara Croft. Um, because one thing that it does seem is that there's more of a distinction here. We're not getting like that whiny, crying all the time Lara Croft. Um, so if you're really going to make her more uh, reminiscent of like a classic Lara Croft inspiration, I personally would kind of update the outfit a little bit, make it a little more distinct. You don't have to go all in with the, oh, make her super curvy, make her, because it looks like the style they're going for is going to be more of like, uh, what's what we're seeing in Resident Evil, for example. Um, so that's like my biggest critique with the character is that the outfit is a little too, a little too reboot Lara. And the backpack is very clunky and huge so I personally would adjust that a little bit but all things considered I do think that this is definitely going to have some appeal for classic Tomb Raider fans and especially if you're a Resident Evil fan as well which is a great crossover to try to do so if, as long as your expectations are in a good place here and you're not expecting like a hundred million dollar game looking thing and you're also not expecting an actual classic Tomb Raider experience which obviously I would have liked I, I want to see that I still want to see somebody do that but and, and actually do it well so as long as that's not your expectations going into this and you're just like okay let's think of like a Resident Evil meets uh, a Resident Evil experience with dinosaurs with a classic Tomb Raider skin over it uh then hey, I think this actually could satisfy what a lot of us want to see in that regard. So, I mean, I definitely want to play it. I don't know when exactly it's dropping. Um, let me see. Release date just is coming soon. So hopefully they announce that at PAX, uh, at PAX East. Um, but anyway, I definitely want to check it out. I definitely think it looks cool. So let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments below. Also, something else I want to address because I have been getting a ton of you guys asking, when are you going to stream again on Twitch? Because it's been like two weeks. Um, I can't really say a lot of things just because, as some of you know, I have an ongoing stalker situation going on right now that has just been a giant pain. And so there's certain things I can't say because of that. <laughs> But I have my hands so full right now, a lot. I will still continue to be uploading videos, you know, at least three days a week here on my Go Boom channel. But in terms of streams, I am I am too overwhelmed and just have too much on my plate and have too much going on for me to be able to go back to regular streaming for probably about another month ish. Um, which, yeah, it, 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 everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be good. But there's just certain things going on right now that, I, again, I can't say just because of this going on right now. Um, I still do plan on getting some streams done for when Resident Evil 4 Remake drops, which is really soon. But in terms of that, okay, I'm back to streaming like, you know, at least three days a week, three to four or three to five days a week every week. Um, give me just a little more time before I get back to that. Thank you so much for your patience and everybody who is like subscribed on Twitch and all that kind of stuff. Um... Thank you for being patient with me right now, but my hands are so full and I'm very overwhelmed and I'm just not in the mental headspace right now to be keeping up all of that and juggling all of this at the same time because it's a lot, but everything's going to be good. Everything's going to work out well. Um, despite all of this situation going on, there's some really exciting, good things happening uh, as well that, that, you know, at some capacity, you guys will be able to see Um going on through this but anyway thank you all so much for hanging out with me today i will catch you next time and in the meantime go boom